Hi everybody, welcome to Wise Kong Driving. It's time to get to work and get some exercise. Yeah, we are on our next video and today we're going to look at how to recover the faded paintwork on this bonnet. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use this uh, PJ Pro PG2. This is the polish. It's a fine compound that you can use for cutting. Yeah, it does some cutting and it also is a polish. And then after we have done that, we're going to use the sealant again to seal in the goodness. Okay, here's a closer look at the bonnet and you can see here there are a lot of what you call uh, watermarks and also here there's a big patch of uh, whitish color where the clear coat has deteriorated. And did you hear the thunder? Well, I, we have to wash the bonnet. That means washing the car. So, as you can see, it is really, really something. Every time I want to wash the car, it rains. Okay, we're going to wash the bonnet. And uh, of course, if it rains, uh, we have to continue after the rain. And I'm going to tape off like two-thirds of the bonnet. You know why? Because the poor area is actually here. And I just want to make sure that it gets into the work area. So I'm going to tape this one off. And we will see only this part of the bonnet works on. And I'm going to put a bit of tape here. I'm taping this part because I don't want to get any of the polish on it. Okay, this is the PG2. And what we're going to do is shake the bottle. We're going to apply it on the main areas here. That the, These are the bad areas here. That I'm going to concentrate here. And we use the applicator. And the advice is to give it a slow speed. So we're going to apply it to this area first. Have to work them in installments. And now, we're going to buff.
it seems it seems like the surface is quite badly pitted i can feel actually the paint is very rough that's because the top layer this uh, clear coat has got lots and lots of little holes in it and so we're going to have to put more of the stuff I dampened the sponge a little bit to make it easier. So we are still working on this first part of the bonnet. The surface is really, really rough. Okay, more back breaking work. Okay, I'm going to do the other parts of the bonnet, otherwise you end up with a very deep depression here. Okay, in case I didn't say it before, this is an orbital polisher and this is uh, by a uh, local, yeah, one of the better known brands and uh, this runs at low speed and the machine is quite light. So if you don't press too hard, it won't cause too much damage in case you use it wrongly. So you should just use the polish on top and then you just let the machine glide over it slowly without trying to force it yeah make sure that the pressure is even and then you won't get burn marks burn is like when you get uh, pressed too hard on one spot then it cuts in deeper than normal and then you get holograms when the sun shines on it so the idea is to have a smooth transition all over the entire surface but it looks like more back breaking work guys it's good to wet the sponge a little bit Oh, I'm getting greedy. <laughs> That's too much, but never mind. We will see. Maybe a bit of water helps. Thank you. 
Okay, so the other part doesn't feel left out. We're going to also polish it. The other parts. On this side of the marker. And now here the damage is not so bad. So it's easier to make sure that it looks like it was touched up before. <coughs> but someone gave me. And uh, I don't know, it wasn't that You can see through the polish there's some watermarks, watermarks on the paint <clears throat> caused by acid rain. So guys, this bonnet is actually in very very bad shape. So we have to do a lot of work. We have to cut through that layer into a clear layer. Okay, I've done a bit of washing and I can see here this part is still not so well done and also here we need to cut a bit more so we still need to do it one more time. We're going to put more. Especially here. This is the stubborn part. And also here. here Okay guys, so we have done another layer and uh, it's still raining so we have rinsed off the bonnet and we'll just leave it aside until the rain stops then we will continue with the sealant. We'll seal the surface after this. Alright guys, the rain has kind of stopped so we're going to put in the polymer sealant which is actually the wax to seal in the surface and prevent any more dirt from getting onto it. So we use a fresh applicator and we're going to, it's damp, we dampened it, yeah? And then we're going to rub it across the bonnet on the part that we have polished.
you got to apply it as soon as possible so that no oxidization happens. And also acid rain. I can already see some marks where the rain drops left dots on the bonnet. Make sure it's covered liberally. Okay, so that's the sealant applied <coughs> and we put in a new pad. Now these pads you can buy online, they are made in China, they cost about a ringgit each and they are washable. So this is what you call a 6 inch pad because the it's rubberized and it fits over this pad here which is 6 inches in diameter. Here we go. We're going to buff this surface. Okay, so once we buffed it down, that means there's a thin layer of wax on this car. We're going to put another layer. So, you apply. The orbital polisher is really a very good tool to have, man. You can buy it online. It's about 200 ringgit. And you can see the orange color. Huh? It's a brand that is quite common. I got mine free from my credit card points many years ago, bought it, never used it, 
and now I'm taking it out to use it. Fortunately, the rain stopped and so we can continue and finish this off on the, in the same day. Okay, here goes. Use back the same pad. And let's go. Guys, so that's the bonnet of the golf that you see in front of you. This is the side that was not done. So look at it closely. The paintwork is a bit faded. In fact, I attempted to polish it once before. Didn't do a good job. This is the part we did today. And you can see that it is a lot smoother. Let's see if you can see my reflection. Can you see my reflection of my hand? Yeah, that's my hand there. Nice, isn't it? And in contrast here, my hand, you can still see, but it's a bit blur. So this side, it is clearer. So that's my hand. Yeah. Okay, there are some things that you can't do. I just want to show you. Okay, over here, there's a blemish here. And this is because it is uh, somebody touched up the paint many years ago and there's just a dab of paint and then they polished it down and that's where the joint. Okay, so that one cannot be saved. And over here, we have some stone chips here. Stone chips and another stone chip up here. So that one we cannot save. And up here, even though most of it is gone away, there's still some marks where the clear coat still has got indentations because the acid rain has worn quite deeply inside so if i really want to get rid of it i actually have to grind it down more imagine this as a surface uh, and it's got pit, pitted you know it's got holes in it because of the acid rain and uh, sunlight that has ultraviolet degradation of the top layer not the color the color is at the bottom 
So the top layer is dull and what we did using the polish was to actually cut away the surface until it became flat but uh, we didn't cut deep enough but anyway it passes master so from here the paintwork looks a lot better and there's another part I want you to see see the headlight okay somebody just told me in my Facebook don't put these headlamp covers on and this is what this is actually a headlamp cover uh, this was put in maybe eight years ago or nine years ago to protect the headlamp and over the years what has happened is the surface uh, water seeped through and then there's some dirt inside here and he has discolored so this is a 2mm thick plastic protector for the headlight and what we're going to try to do later is to try to remove it maybe I have to use my heat gun and then after, after that we we'll have to try to salvage that corroded part and see whether it can become clear again but before that I have to actually give a better polishing job to the rest of the car and the roof area is one area that I need to pay some attention to because that's the part that also gets affected by the sun and so Miss Iona Kong if you are watching this video just be glad to know that there's somebody looking after your car yeah okay then all right guys thanks very much for being with us till we meet again bye bye and love you baby <laughs>